What are inherited data? They're also called secondary data. And the thing about them is that you inherit them. In other words, these are data that are not yours, that you did not collect. Primary data, on the other hand, are the ones that you design and control the data collection process for. So in other words, you custom make those data sets for your needs. Primary data is about control and quality. Unfortunately, quality and control does come at a price. So there's a bit of a tug of war there. I like to say that inherited data sets are a bit like inherited toothbrushes. An act of desperation. You'd always prefer to get your own toothbrush and data set. Having your own is better. But if someone tells you that you should be collecting your own data always for everything, uh, you should tell that person to check their data privilege. We can't always all afford data on everything that we might be interested in. For example, you might love to analyze pathogen measurements, but maybe you don't have the resources to collect your data in a lab with a high biosafety rating. Not everyone can afford that. And so then what you would have to do is go for the next best thing, use someone else's data. But look, sometimes that's the best you have. The fact that it's the best you have doesn't mean that it's amazing. It doesn't guarantee that these data are gonna be awesome. And while we're on that note, the tooth fairy is not real. Allow me to paraphrase a famous saying. To consult data scientists only after the data have been collected, after the study is finished, is often merely to ask them to conduct a post-mortem examination. They might perhaps be able to tell you what the study died of. Yeah, sometimes when we use data that's been collected for a completely different purpose, that data may not be useful to us. It might in fact be more misleading than useful. And those of you who are about to protest that some data are better than no data, hang on a second. Why don't we try that sentence again, but replacing the word data with noise or distractions or lies. Is some lies better than no lies at all? I wouldn't think so. In fact, some data is better than no data only some of the time. When you have custom made your own primary data, you can design that data set so that there is a really good chance that what's in there is the information that is useful for you and your business problem. But when you inherit data from someone else, you've got to take a slightly different approach. Before you even begin, you should ask yourself five questions about purpose, competence, agenda, clarity, and processing. So ask yourself these five questions when you're starting with someone else's data set. And perhaps based on what your answers are, you might decide to treat that like you'd treat someone's toothbrush. That's not you. <laughs>